Hey everyone, we're making a name card today. There's a downloaded version of Canvas. Pop a rectangle onto the, the mat. And we're going to make this rectangle, just scroll that up so we can see. The width and the height is in the edit panel there to the right. We'll make it a 4.9 wide and 2.5 high. So just adjust it out until you've got it about that height. So this will vary depending on the name that you're using. If you've got a very long name, you would perhaps have it a little bit longer. Uh, I usually like to make my name cards a little bit, uh, so the base is a little bit taller than the name. So it's uh, not quite two thirds, but you know, sort of, so it's just a bit bulkier at the bottom. So usually I've used my caps lock to make this all in capitals. And just adjust your name to fit the card. And so we've got 4.9 we need the name. And we can stretch the top of the card too. Just kind of keep an eye on your edit panel over there as you can stretch it. And just make that a little bit taller. We'll aim for 1.5 inches tall. So it's about an inch taller at the bottom. You can actually type in the edit panel as well. So you can just highlight the uh, numbers and type your numbers that you want. Sometimes easier than stretching. Depends what sort of effect. Sometimes I like to stretch sometimes when um, I'm sort of not really sure how big I want something. So I, I stretch it so I think, yeah, I like, it. I like the look of that instead of just going, oh, I need it. X amount wide. So duplicate both the shape and the name. So you've got a copy of them. And I'll show you what to do with those in a moment. And align the Matilda or the name and the rectangle. So that make sure they fit. And just zoom right in as well, just to just click away for a second. Just need to make sure that the name is overlapping the rectangle by enough. Uh, so arrow key down. If you use your arrow key, that will keep it in alignment still. Select it again. We're going to go down and weld. Use your weld in the process overlap. And you're still in your edit panel. And you can see that's welded properly. So duplicate and flip. And then you've got the back half of your card. So align them back up again. And once again, you need them to overlap. Select them both and use the alignment tools. And looks fairly good. And weld. And there we go. The makings of the card. So with this one, with the names, we're going to do a little inset or an offset in this case it's called. Uh, we're going inwards, so change it down. You can adjust this to what you think you like. Uh, I've gone um, about a 0.8 I think I'll go. And we're going inwards. You can choose inwards or outwards, but we want it smaller. And also we're, I've chosen um, bevel, not rounded. And I can see that that's not right. So you can see how it's got pieces missed. That's not going to work. So we'll go back in and try that again. You just play with what size you like. There we go. So 0 0.8 was too much because I missed joining some of those letterings. And 0 0.4 was right. So you can just play with those sizes as you see fit and we'll do the same thing we don't need that piece anymore just um, zoom in so we can see what we're doing and do the same thing with the rectangle and we can just adjust that to how much you want as well I usually just play with it on the mat so that's gone in by 0.4 a great deal. Okay. 
And so I've just placed it there just to see what it looks like. And we'll do it again because I'm going to do two layers. So we'll inset a bit further. I've gone point 16 maybe. And you can see that's jumped in quite a bit. We don't need that piece anymore either. So we'll just move these pieces out because we don't want them to cut over it. So now we've got the main piece of it, the main piece of the card, the inset for the Matilda name, the, and two insets for the, the bottom section of the card. So if you use your path tool, hold your shift key down and draw that line and go up to the um, properties panel and change the change the line to a dash line so you get a fold line and then just align that again so it's in the need the horizontal alignment or the middle alignment for this one just make sure that's that that's in the middle and we're pretty well done so that will pop in there the Matilda will go over so that will sit like that and the Matilda will sit over that part of the smaller Matilda over the name there and we're good to go just put these out again and you can send it to the cutting machine just go up to file and you save it and also I've just added this little piece on um, so I've just stopped the video for a second and added this piece on because I decided to do this after I was making it so choose a shape so you can see what I've done so I'm just going to emulate what I did before so I've chosen that shape there it's just popped up there out the way so I'll just bring it down so you can see what I've done and I just uh, resized it down brought that piece in so it matched the size of the happy birthday and fits inside the inner side of the card that smallest piece of the the base of the card and you write your happy birthday and what I did with the happy birthday was I actually did it in vinyl so that um, it was less fiddly than doing it in cardstock and it had a really nice effect so make sure your happy birthday fits inside now if you need this to be welded depending on what what writing you choose you may need to weld your writing uh, so choose weld and work through that I have got tutorials on working with with um, text as well the text I chose didn't need welding I'll talk to you next time see ya